Hi, in this video I'm going to give an overview of the 120 centimeter mesh satellite dish uh, that you see in front of me here. Basically, it's made up of two parts in terms of what we ship. There's the outer box here, which contains all the componentry that we see on the table here in front of us, which I'll give an overview in a few moments. And then we have the main event, which is the skin of the dish, the actual dish itself. So I'm going to do this point, I'm actually going to lift it up and you can just see the full size and dimensions of it, okay? So the first thing you'll note, obviously, it's a very large dish. And the second thing then to note is that it's perforated. And the reason we've actually asked Sab to produce a perforated dish for us is that uh, perforated dishes have uh, two main advantages. Number one is that they're much easier to work with during the installation process simply because they're a little bit lighter and they don't catch the wind as much. Uh, so they're easier to align and secondly and most importantly uh, related to the first point is that when they're mounted they're far less likely to move in the wind simply because they're perforated so in very strong gusts of winds the wind will effectively pass through the dish so uh, when we compare we'll say that the issues you'll have using a mess dish compared to a solid dish um, it's far far less likely to have problems and because the setup cost of these particularly if you're hiring professionals to do it can be quite high uh, it really is a good idea to go with a good quality dish like this. We've got Saab to manufacture it for us simply because uh, we've a range of different di uh, dish manufacturers we have, but Saab are a real quality brand uh, and they make some of the best dishes, including for a range of, of the top companies who rebrand Saab products. Um, so what we'll do at this point is um, I am just going to move this uh, the dish skin out of the way and we're just going to talk about it. In terms of the finish on the dish here, it's just um, a paint onto steel that's what it is and the actual thickness of the steel here it's about 1.6 millimeters okay so the dimension itself steel itself so if we come down along then we look at um, what comes inside this outer box well we'll come along first of all anyway and we have a dish um, bracket which we have here and it's there's six bolts and it simply bolts directly onto the back of the dish what we'd have next then is we would have a um, an elevation bracket here which attaches onto the back of the dish bracket using these two nuts and two bolts and we can simply angle it to have whatever angle that we uh, need to have it at um, so you know whether it's 15 20 degrees whatever uh, in terms then we would have these two u bolts here and these two gra uh, uh, gripping um, brackets here and that would bolt directly onto the pole that we'd be using or the bracket would be coming off a wall for instance uh, that we'd be using for mounting the entire dish okay um, when we come along then we'll look at these nuts and bolts here well they're primarily used for bolting this bracket directly onto the dish and also we have um, uh, the secondary uh, 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 issue here where we actually have the arm here we want to bolt and hold it into position so what we'll do is we'll actually come along then and we're just going to look at all this component here is obviously all mounted on the back of the dish part that's exposed at the front of the dish, obviously, <coughs> is the arm for holding the LMB. <coughs> so, what I'm going to do here at this point in time is I'm just going to hold up this dish bracket and I'm going to show how this would be mounted into it. So we can see there's two elements to it, but the first thing here is we can actually slide this directly in here. And if we come along and I depress these two angles here, it just means we can slide it directly in and it'll actually pop into position then. And what we'll do is uh, we will come along then and after we've inserted this onto the dish we can clip in this bracket here which can hold the LMB at a set distance away from the dish. So all of this here is either aluminium or galvanized so it means it's very resistant to weather and wear. Um, so that, that's a, a pretty comprehensive overview. The typical applications of it is well when you you know people will say from the Czech Republic and uh, Slovakia, Hungary, they would normally be picking up uh, Tor 5 and Tor 6 at 0.8 degrees west. So um, they will need, um, depending on the location, something like a 120 centimeter dish. There's other applications as well. And if you had a, a situation, let's say, where you wanted to have a single dish pointing at multiple um, dish uh, satellites, you could use a large dish like this. And what you could have is an LMB offset arm to hold them. Now, one of the great things about the design feature of the LMB holder here is it's the same design for the LMB holder here that's used for Triax, for um, Saab uh, itself, for Amico, for Inverto, etc. So it just means that the LMB uh, holder here is very interchangeable. And one example of something we could do with it is 
we wanted to have a multiple LB holder like this, what we could do is we could clip this in here and have a holder of maybe two, three or four points along to hold LMBs pointing at various different ones, running it to a Dizex switch and back out. So it really is a quality product. It's part of a wider range of satellite dishes that we stock on the tvtrade.ie website. Um, so it goes all the way from the smaller dishes here of 60 centimeters or so, all the way up to uh, about 120 centimeter here as well. So this is somewhat of a niche market, but certainly with a quality dish like this, um, it, you know, th th there's a lot of um, um, demand for this uh, in, in a market like Ireland and the UK.